Well, there is such a thing as a healthy treat. Heart and Bowl offers 100% organic acai bowls and smoothies that fit every lifestyle. So joining us this morning is Renee Ike. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Now, did I say that right? Acai, is that right? Acai, yes. I always question how to say it. All right. Acai. So tell us about Heart and Bowl. Well, it is our food truck that we started last year, and uh, we just have acai bowls, and we have different smoothies, and we wanted to do something that was good for you that really tasted good. Okay, now explain exactly what acai is. Okay. I mean, we see it. It's popular right we now. It, we know yeah. it's good for us, but what is Trendy, it? Trendy, <laughs> but I think it's here to stay. So it's just a purple berry that comes from the Amazon, and we just take it and blend it with some other fruits, top it with hemp granola and other uh, fruits like that, spread it with some honey. We put bee pollen on, on almost all of our uh, bowls which is 40% protein and super healthy. Okay, now a, a lot of hype is around superfoods. Right. And you really use a lot of superfood toppings. So what is a superfood? We do. Superfood is just one of those foods that they kind of lay out that is very high in antioxidants. And acai is um, higher than blueberries. So I kind of mm -hmm. look at it as like those little scrubbing bubbles that can get inside your body and get all of the gunk out and, uh, you know, do, do really good things well, for your body. I was going to say, why is it good for us? Right, perfect. Right, it just yeah. helps us kind of um, cleanse our body, right? Exactly. Okay, so exactly. these look delicious. I'm going to let you take me through um, each of these bowls if you want to. Let's okay. start, we'll start with this one because okay. I love strawberries and bananas. This <laughs> is our heart and bowl bowl. So okay. we have strawberries, bananas, and blueberries and uh, topped with the honey and chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, and the bee pollen. Okay, so and what's the base layer of everything? The base layer is the acai, which is mixed with blueberries and strawberries and banana. And sometimes we use almond milk, sometimes we use an organic apple juice. Okay. So it's like a puree, almost uh, thicker than a smoothie. As I said, what's the, what's the texture like? Right, kind almost of like a, a sorbet. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I love that. Okay. Yeah, it's very and good. now this one looks a little bit sweeter. <laughs> it is. This is our Sweet Dreams Bowl, which will have peanut butter and Nutella and white chocolate chips. So the kids love it. So they are getting a little bit of a treat, but they're also getting something that's really healthy for them. So okay. we can feel good about that. And that kind of will help with the sweet tooth too, right? Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. And then we have some kiwi and some pineapple, a little bit more seasonal yes. fruit. This is our soul bowl. And uh, yeah, strawberries, pineapple, kiwi, things that are coming in season for the spring and summer. So everybody's just ready for those, you know, great salads and great mm -hmm. fruits. And, and this tops really well. And I know that these are Oreos on the end. <laughs> these are. And so we're just trying to play around. Um, we can put different Oreos or Kit Kats and things like that and just give a different mix up for our Sweet Dreams Bowl. And because uh, you can do a build your own. Okay, and so people perfect. like well, to do a build your own. And can... Yes, they can take any of our toppings and kind of do, you know, what they want to do with it. For okay. their taste. So kind of mixing the good with the bad. You're still yes. getting fixing your sweet tooth, fixing that craving, but you're still at the end of the day eating something that's actually yes. good for you. Definitely. Okay, so talk to me about um, you're a food truck right now. We are. So you're going to be at several different places over the next couple weekends. We are. Starting April 7th, we are going to be a part of the West Village, mm -hmm. which is happening every Saturday night. We will be there every other Saturday okay. night. And they're going to have um, food and different food trucks and live music, and they're going to have a laser show you know, that will be going on at 9 o'clock every Saturday night. So it's really fun, family-friendly kind of stuff. We will be starting the uh, Chattanooga Market mm -hmm. on April 28th and 29th. So we're really excited about that to be a part of the market. And we've got some different things. Cinco de Mayo, we will be um, at the American Cancer Society Relay for Life. And so we're excited to be a part of all of these great events that are coming up. So I have to ask, what in the world made you decide to open a food truck serving these delicious bowls? Okay, well, I have always wanted to open a food truck, mm -hmm. but we never really quite had the time. Or, you know, was thinking, like, when or where is the right time to do this? Because you've been and in the food industry a while, right? We have. Okay. Um, it'll be a year ago tomorrow that our Cheeburger Cheeburger restaurant fell um, here, that we lost it. The building collapsed. And so it took us about a few months for me to kind of gather our thoughts about right. that and everything and decide, okay, now is the perfect time for a food truck. And so then we've been trying to decide um, just the other things that we wanted to do. And well, so, that's perfect. See, yeah. everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. You just got to find, the, you know, take the time and find the positive that's in it. Right. So this has been great. Okay, so looking forward to um, several busy weekends for you. Yes. Where can someone find where you're going to be located? Okay, they can go to heartandbowlchat.com mm -hmm. and then Heart and Bowl also on our Facebook page. And everything will be listed there, all of the events Perfect. and parties. And we do a lot of caterings are also. You I was going to say, are you available for catering yes. or events? Yeah, we do a lot of you? caterings. And... Um, 
business and church events and uh, you know different organizations and things like that so perfect yeah. now uh, my next question is what can we look forward to for the rest of the year do you have any big plans we do have some really big plans we're really excited about this so on July 2nd we are going to open up another restaurant it will not be a cheeburger cheeburger but it's going to be great fun it's going to be called River Drifters and we're going to be on Sut Creek Road and we're going to have kayaks and stand-up paddleboard rentals fun. we have uh, been going around and uh, meeting with local breweries so we can get like the perfect craft beer mm -hmm. and have different beers and have some great food and everything. So it's going to be family friendly, bring the kids out. You know, we have, we have kayaks for kids and there's going to be, you know, a huge deck and just beautiful views and Do we're an super. anticipated open date? July 2nd. Ju Ooh, so that's really quick. Yes. Okay, you'll have to come back and, and, yeah, and definitely. right before come the opening, we'll have to have you back on. Exactly. Stand-ups and everything, yeah. All right, so again, the first weekend that you're going to be out at West Village is coming up. April 7th. April 7th, so not yeah. this weekend, but next weekend. Yes. So take your kids out to West Village, enjoy the family-friendly fun, and get you some fun and delicious bowls. And when your kids want ice cream, you can get them this. Yes, They'll exactly. never know the difference. They will never know the difference. <laughs> they love it. And they, they come back for more. So. All right. Well, thank, uh, Renee, thanks so, so much for oh, joining us. Thanks yeah. for sharing your bowls with us. And again, we'll talk to you soon as we get closer to your new opening. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. We'll be right back on Let's Chat.